Welcome to Miami. It's the home of beautiful beaches, beautiful women in bikinis, and has one of the largest boating communities in the world. Miami makes up a big chunk of the $39 billion boating market. So it's home of one of the biggest boat shows in the United States, the Miami Boat Show. In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of several of the boats at the Miami Boat Show, including a Lagoon 51 and Aquila 54. And then I'll show you some of the new tech being displayed at the Boat Show. So let's check out the 2024 Miami International Boat Show. What's up, everybody? We're in Miami. I'm taking you to the Miami Boat Show right now. I'm going to walk you through some boats, show you some uh, cool accessories and all that that you need to put on your boat or you don't, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to take you inside and give you a taste and a feel and uh, let's go. All right, so I'm here at the boat show before they're even open. Uh, they open in about an hour. I'm uh, going to do some interviews and stuff with some of the guys at Navigar and a few other people, uh, Latitudes and Attitudes. You'll see those on my podcast. Check that out. This is the sailboat show, so they have three different areas. They have the sailboat show, they have the powerboat show, the convention center where all they have a lot of small boats and accessories. And then, of course, they actually do have the super yacht show. I'm not taking you there. I'm going to take you to the other stuff, though. I will say that the sailboat side is actually the smallest place they have here. Uh, they have a lot of powerboats and then super yachts, of course, and the convention center is pretty big. But still, most of the man major manufacturers are here. Not some of the more high end, like the luxury boats but definitely all the catamaran manufacturers and stuff like that this is the navigar booth i've been working these guys for a few years now and they are the actual the, the sales guys for my island spirit 525 electric catamaran sailing cat and they have the model here. I haven't seen the model yet until now. I've seen pictures of it in videos, but it just doesn't do the same in person. It's pretty amazing. Uh, the model just makes this boat look huge, and it is big. It's 52 feet. It's going to be really nice. Let me show you guys the model real quick here. A lot of space. Got the dinghy lift on the back, a really big cockpit area, and then take the stairs on either side up to the salon. And then it's an option to either have a sun pad in the back or solar panels. I'm going to do all the solar up here plus i'm going to add more solar right here so i have like 4700 watts of solar and then another really cool feature on the boat is that it does have the door to walk through this nice big seating area still has the trampolines are a little bit reduced size compared to maybe like a, a lagoon but i the, everybody still wants to have um the trampolines and then the seating area up there and then you can set it up as either a five a six five four or three cabin i'm doing a three cabin but really cool getting in there Started off at the Navigar booth today uh, to talk to a few folks. I'll kind of show you around a little more, but they have a brand new Lagoon 51 here on the dock. I'm going to give you guys a quick walkthrough and uh, so you can see what the Lagoon 51 is like. So this one's set up with a lift on the back, nice open cockpit in the back. And what I do like is you can go up to the flybridge on the, either the port or the starboard side. I like being able to go from either side. Just makes it easier and quicker when things are needed. Uh, and then I'll take you inside through into the salon. I like the salon area. It's not bad. Uh, this little U-shaped seating area, I like it because you can get into either side pretty well. A lot of times they make one side really long and it's hard to get in, but not bad here. I, the thing I don't like on Lagoons is a lot of the boats are putting the door forward so you can get through to the bow. Lagoon still doesn't do that. They only do that on, I believe, well, the really big boats. But let's take you down into the cabins real quick. Turning aft to the, uh, one of the VIP staterooms, it has its own head here with a wet, or sorry, dry head. So separate shower, which is always nice. And then going forward, uh, you have two more cabins here. Uh, another kind of VIP cabin uh, with its full size bed and then a smaller like crew or kids room. And I believe you have to share the bathroom here between these two uh, cabins. All right, so let's head on over to the port side over here. Forward first, and it's kind of a mirror of the other side. Uh, a larger cabin forward, another little smaller cabin for either crew. I mean, you could fit two people in there, but you got to snuggle. And then you have to share a head over here. And then aft, you have a larger stateroom uh, with its own head. There's a Lagoon 51 with six cabins. Uh, I imagine this would charter pretty well. Lots of refrigeration in this boat and kind of convenient area. Hand holds everywhere in the galley. So let's take you upstairs to the flybridge. I do like this flybridge up here. Uh, seating pads up front and 
you know, a nice large settee for hanging out in the back. It's kind of, I, I, I really like having a full, st you know, fly bridge that you can walk around and do all this in. Really convenient. And if you're driving the boat, hopefully other people are hanging out with you up here. But I think this is a great improvement over the Lagoon 50 as far as fly bridge and everything. So just that one foot bigger. Uh, and there you go. You get a lot more space. Now I'll take you up to the bow area. And I have not been up here yet, so I don't even know what's up here. All right. Not bad. A little seating area. It's not terrible. I would have preferred a, a little bit better seating area, but it's not bad up here. And then of course, this one even has a bow sprit with an ASAM on it and everything. Wow, cool. So that is a Lagoon 51. Let's head on to the next place and see some more boats and some more stuff. All right, now I'm gonna take you to some of the vendors that uh, I know some of the things about and some of the new and cool tech. I'm gonna start off, I believe, with Selden, who's been doing the uh, in-mass furling on my boat. <laughs> All right, so I'm here at Selden. I'm sorry, I forgot the name already. Joe Russ. Joe, Joe Russ. So you guys are doing the rigging on my boat, uh, all the, the winches and everything. Yep. And uh, probably the coolest thing you got is the in-mass furling system. Yes. And I think that's going to, because a lot of people have been scared of in-mass furling because it's, you got to do it just right. Uh, yeah, the, the, the shape of the sail is important, right. and also how you uh, play with the bang, right. when you roll it in and out. I mean, it's not not super complicated. Uh, just don't let your bang completely off. Right. That's going to wrinkle up. Got to keep it down. Yeah. Right. So you have a nice flat sail going in and out. Uh, we've built in mass furling as far since 1986. Okay. Uh, and we have in, um, one of the absolute best functioning systems in the industry, whether it be manual, electric, or hydraulic. Uh, we offer both. Uh, in your case you mm -hmm. are doing the what we call synchronized main furling right yeah and that is a push button right uh, so I mean, yeah I mean, that's I think that's the coolest thing is it's synchronized you yes. don't have to mess with uh, just an out haul and, and, nope. and the, the, the worm gear and all that is synchronized you just push button in and out correct all right uh, so what I have on display is actually aftermarket okay. system okay the, the the functions are the same but yours will look a lot sleeker than okay. this one okay it, it, so this is one you'd put on an existing system exactly okay. and and so uh, every in mass furl mass we built since 1986 yeah is retrofittable oh really yes so what we have is we have a power supply what you see all these boxes we have five boxes that look about the same right right the power supply unit box number one that's where we convert 12 or 24 volts to 42 volts um, the purple cable you see on the side that's a NEMA 2000 okay. We call it cell bus. Right. Um, so that's where the communication goes between all the functions. Um, the power cables for the furlicks here, it's the brown, the orange, and the blue. You need one power supply unit, and that handles up to seven electrical functions, seven electrical functions. The winch here, um, this is a utility winch for your alto, your halyards, etc. Have it up on a coach roof. Uh, you can run this separate um, without messing with the sail, and then you have your own buttons. It's actually a three speed. Okay. Uh, when we do it with the mass, when you want to roll out your sail, you put the alto on, and then you control it with the mass buttons. So basically, the motor control unit for the mass sends the signal to the motor control unit of the winch and uh, I, I'm controlling the winch, not you. You stay asleep. So it beeps, it picks up the slack and then the mask goes. So I pick direction, I hit the other and that's second speed. And if you watch closely now, you see it backs up a little bit and you can hear that click. That's the mechanical lock, so there's no load on the motor. Okay. It's synchronized in a way that when you roll out, this this you, the system knows when the sail is fully out because it feels that it starts to roll it up the wrong way. Right. And it stops. Okay. And then it backs backloaded up. and that's what sets the mechanical brake as well. Our head sail, our furlex, the head the Genoa furler, also two speed. Um, and then we have our code. Uh, this is a through deck code. Oh, that's nice. Also two speed. 
So that is yeah. the uh, furling system, and then now, uh, and then you have your electric wind system as well. Exactly. Okay. And it runs on the same cell bus system. Okay. With, it, with it, NEMA 2000 cables. This is our handle. I call it the Barbie Cooper. Yeah. But the nice thing is you can spin the winch without the handle going with it. So that's, oh, yeah, that's nice. That's pretty sweet. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. If you see the ribs, they are offset. Because mm -hmm. when a rope is under load, gotcha. with these ribs here, they make small, small Thank indentions. Right. And nice if they're that. evenly spaced and you ease it, yeah. you get the jumping. Mm -hmm. But here, since they're offset, they're, they're pairs of threes. So these little indentions are never going to hit an other. So it's a smooth release. Cool. It's hard to show here yeah. on this, uh, but one, when you try them out, on the real in real life it's yeah. whoa if you first showing the setup i'm really excited about it i think i mean the boat should be splashing next month i believe so oh i'm excited so how can more how can people get more information about the cells to selden system here so uh go up to our website seldenmast.com okay uh you find us there and quick google you find us in charleston um our contact information is on there uh we have info at seldenus.com okay. where uh uh, one of us will answer any questions you have. All right. Well, hey, Jonas, thanks so much, man. Yeah, All right. Good to see you. It. All right. Thank you. That is all the stuff I'm going to cover here at the uh, sailboat side of things. I am going to go meet up with Amanda for lunch, and then I'm going to head over to the powerboat show where there's a couple of vendors I want to talk to and show you over there. And then, uh, yeah, maybe we'll head over to the convention center and uh, see some stuff over that way, too. Taking the shuttle to the harbor. Alright, so this is the uh, power boat show. They do have like an inside like, kind of exhibit area. I want to talk to um, Yacht Controller. They're going to be hopefully one of my sponsors uh, by the time this video comes out. We'll see. Or we'll see. Uh, but and then there's a few other places here I might check out. I might take you on a tour of a power boat as well. <laughs> this guy right here. What's up, Zach? How you doing, man? I'm fabulous. Yeah. This is the famous Bobby White of Sailing Doodle. That's right. Hey, if you need a boat loan, you're the guy to talk to, right? Fantastic, man. Right. Fantastic. How's things going? Bobby, how do you keep looking younger, man? Uh, I know what it is. It's a beautiful lady. You got a key? Yeah, that's it. Close. Not a bad thing. No, man. it's not. <laughs> you guys doing it right here today? Fantastic. Right. Fantastic. What's, uh, what's the name of your company here these days? Azul Marine Living. All right. So if you need a boat loan, you got to talk to Zach. And, well, you're better half Greta. Where's she at? Better is much better. She's yeah. actually changing because she was cold. Oh, okay. So, well, yeah. So. yeah. Zool Marine, check him, tell him he saw it on sailing doodles. Fantastic. When's the delivery of the new boat? Uh, hopefully, well, it hopefully splashes next month. Super. All right. Super. Ought to be fun. Yeah. Follow him, like him. And more importantly, show some love. Go send a little bit of money out to Patriot, okay? All right. Bobby needs. He needs. It. It's good. <laughs> So this is the power boat show, uh, considerably bigger than the sailboat side of things. There's a lot more boats here and a lot more space. Um, you know, in South Florida, there's more power boats down here. So I'm going to take you on a power boat here. I'm going to take you on a power cat. There's a really popular. Uh, section of the boating market these days is power cats and the one i'm going to take you is one of the more popular ones i'm going to take you on an aquila 54. i walked through it yesterday i was really impressed with it there's two things about aquila though number one made in china uh so that's not real awesome um and then you know i've heard there's been some quality issues but their design is in my opinion is the best power cat i've seen they have the 44 and the 54. either one's pretty good i mean they're expensive, but I really like the design on that 54. It's pretty cool, but I'll take you on there right now. Hopefully they let me on. All right. So I'm just going to do a quick walk through. Uh, I'll keep the camera. We're going to point it at the boat instead of looking at my ugly face and just kind of give you a walk through as, as we go. Starting on the transom here, this platform actually lowers and the davit, I don't know if you can see up there in the 
there's a little crane. That whole thing slides out and then it drops that down. It picks it up and it will lift it onto uh, the davit. And then coming up here onto the cockpit area. Um, I really like this open salon area in the back, the seating area. You have the little window that folds down for pass through and then you come into the salon that is just massive. I have a full size refrigerator. And then I really like for entertaining, I mean, you have this nice seating area, big, big screen TV. Uh, and then, you know, you're cooking here in the galley or something like that. You know, you got to, that is a dishwasher. You can put a stove there if you want. Cooktop, double, big deep sink, has a wine fridge over here, full size household refrigerator there. And then I really like this pass through. This kind of opens up. And so if you're in here cooking, you can be part of the party. And then for me, the selling point on this boat is coming forward into the master cabin. It is the full beam of the boat. So, I mean, just full walk around, it's really nice. Uh, you know, one thing that could be a downside is that you gotta go down steps to go into the toilet, which, you know, at three in the morning, coming in here to go to the toilet, which is right here, you know, uh, that might be a bit of an issue. You get your shower on the other side, double sink, his and hers, and shower on this side. And then on the other side, you have a wardrobe and a big closet you know so you can come in here you got a makeup room do all that full size wow you got a full-size mirror you don't see that on a boat very often and then closet right there uh and then more storage on this side for all your you know socks linens all that so that is the selling point on this boat for me it does have two other full-size cabins i'll show you those starboard side uh, you come down more stairs here and you have a nice size vip cabin here this is i mean this is what a master cabin would look like on most cats, right? Um, just a nice size here and a big shower, dry head. So that's what I really like is that this is the VIP cabin and it's huge. It'd be the, it'd be the size of a master cabin on most boats. And then you go over to the other side on the port side over here uh, through the galley and another good size cabin right here. Partial walk around and then another head over here. The thing I like about this boat is you can either go up to the flybridge from the interior or the exterior. So if it's a really shitty day and you don't want to go outside and get all wet, but you still need to go up to the helm, you walk right up here and you're in the helm station. And the helm station is fully enclosed by not Isinglass, but real glass. There is no helm station downstairs, so you drive the boat from up here. Uh, and you know, and it's got air conditioning vents, so it's air conditioned, or you can have it open. You can open some of these windows on the side here, like these doors, and then you come off the back. This all opens up and you still have your nice little back patio and cooktop, refrigerator, all that stuff out here, uh, if you're grilling out. And then you can also come down these stairs here to go outside. But another cool thing is, as you come around this backside, and you go to the bow. So we walk around here, go to the bow of the boat, and boom, you got this lounge seating area right here, all the way down. And it's just, I mean, really nice. I like it. I'm not 100% how much these are going for, but something like two and a half, three million dollars, which out of my way, I mean, come on. That's, hey, but if a kilo. <laughs> Maybe the next boat, we'll see. But uh, so that's the Aquila 54. All right, I'm gonna pack up here and I'm gonna head to the convention center and show you some stuff over there. Right. Well, never mind. I'm not gonna go over to the convention center. Sorry. I mean, that's just ridiculous. I stood in line forever for the water taxi to go over to the convention center and then it's $20 for the water taxi. Or I gotta go way back out there and take a bus that'll take half 45 minutes or an hour. That's, I mean, Miami Boat Show, I like being here and I like seeing all the stuff and making all the connections and everything. But it's such a hassle to get around like because it's in four different locations you got it's a 20 minute walk over to the sailboat show or you got to get a water taxi and pay for it or you got to get a whatever get a bus here is the powerboat show the super yacht show is on the other side of the water the convention center is in downtown miami beach and it's just i mean if you want to do you can't do you can't do all four in the same day there's not enough time because it takes at least an hour to get between venues and it's just a pain in the ass uh, and so, sorry, I mean, I might not come next year. Since I gotta wait for the uh, bus to take me back over, hydrate.
You gotta stay hydrated out here. If you want to do it, you want to get around, you got to get on the bus, then you got to deal with Miami traffic, you got to go across the bridge, across Biscayne Bay over to Miami Beach to get the convention center. Miami, you got to do something different. It sucks. All right, that's a wrap for me from the Miami International Boat Show. Hope you guys uh, found a little bit of that as interesting as I did and got to see some stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Please click that like and subscribe button. Make sure I don't get hit by a car as I walk the street. But my dogs are barking. It's time to go sit down. It's about beer 30. So uh, thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next video.